Okay, I'm now going to open one of those saved files. So I'm going to go for the Katy Perry one first. Now you'll see what's happened is I've got two tabs now. So I've got the original one that I've set up myself, my magazine cover, and I've got the one of Katy Perry that I've brought in. What I want to be able to do with Katy Perry is I basically want to get rid of the background. So all I've left with is, is her picture, because that's what I'm going to use in my magazine cover. First thing I need to do, where it says background, I've got a little picture of a lock. I want to remove that lock, so I'm going to double click on it and simply say OK. Now what that does is it means it's unlocking the background. If I don't unlock the background, I can't get rid of the background. So you might think you're getting rid of it, but let me just show you something quickly. This is the eraser tool. Now if I want to make my eraser bigger and smaller, I can use the square brackets on my keyboard to change the size. But basically when I erase something, I get that transparent view. That's what I want to see. If you're seeing a, a plain white or a solid color, your background's not transparent. It's not going to work for what we want to do. Okay, there's lots of ways that we can get rid of the background. That's one way is to use this tool, but sometimes that can be a bit difficult because it doesn't actually um, get to the edge very sharp. Okay, but here's two, two things that will help you. The magnifying glass. If we click on the magnifying glass, every time I click, I zoom in closer. Okay, if I hold down my Alt button, watch the little plus in the magnifying glass, turns to a minus. So if I hold down Alt and then press my button, I zoom the other way. Okay, if I hold my space bar down, can you see it turns into a hand? Then I can move it around on screen. So a great way of doing things is to zoom in and then move around. Okay, I'm going to just come out there slightly and I'm going to show you a new tool. Okay, this one selects colors the quick selection tool I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to drag it over this blue area and you can see it picks up the blue but it basically doesn't pick up her hair because it's a different color if I now press delete I can get rid of chunks of my um, selection at the same time okay press delete again now to get rid of this selection, which is called marching ants, you can see it looks like low little ants marching around, you press Ctrl and D, okay, and that gets rid of it. Now what I could do, these other little bits that are still showing through, I could zoom right in on those. So if I get my zoom tool back up again and zoom in, I can go in as close as I want, going into pixel level. I can get my eraser tool, it's a bit big so I can make it much smaller by pressing the space bar and I can erase this way. Another thing I could do is choose my lasso tool and my lasso tool allows me to draw around a shape so I'm going to draw this bit of blue follow the line of it, I'm just using my mouse when I've got my marching ants I press delete again press Control D to deselect so there's a, a load of different ways, I'm going to zoom back out again now there's a lot of different ways that you can remove these edges I'm going to continue removing these edges off camera and then you come back and see the finished piece. Okay, so you can see I've finished off the Katy Perry um, background now. I've removed it all, I've got the transparency. So I'm going to do two things now. I'm going to basically save it. I could have done this at any point, but I'm going to do File, Save As. And again, I'm going to put it into the Photoshop folder. I'm going to make sure it's a Photoshop file this time. I can keep the same name, hit Save. Before you remember, it was a JPEG file because it came off the internet. And I'm also going to do the same with the Minion. So I'm going to open up Minion. You can see I've removed the background from the Minion as well. That was much easier because the Minion's background was just all white. But I've got a lot of wasted space here. Although it's invisible space, I don't really need it all. So what I can do is I can use something called the Cropping Tool. So I'm going to choose the Cropping Tool. I'm going to drag so it's only just showing the parts that I'm interested in. Therefore, it's making my drawing or my image smaller. Okay, and I'm going to just click the tick up here. And now I've cropped my picture. Same thing, he's not saved. So I'm going to go File, Save As. And I'm going to choose Photoshop, and it's a minion. So I'll still have the original pictures, but now I've got my own Photoshop versions. This is important because if the power goes off, if the bell sounds and you have to go to the next lesson, you can come back and carry on with this next time because you've got it saved.